What is filmmaking with brass knuckles? Well, it looks like this. The box. Who's in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, baby. It seems that envy is my sin. No, what's in the box? What's in the box? I'm glad you ask. It's not quite as dramatic as the end of the movie Seven, but hopefully it'll help you. Brass knuckles. These aren't real, of course. Brass knuckles are illegal, but hopefully, metaphorically speaking, filmmaking with brass knuckles will help you in your creative fight. I don't know if Aristotle ever used brass knuckles, but they've been around since ancient Greece. And the ancient Roman soldiers had a version of brass knuckles that were gloves with blades. President Abraham Lincoln's Secret Service men carried brass knuckles, and legend has it that brass knuckles were Al Capone's favorite weapon. The term loaded fist is a martial arts version of brass knuckles that can turn a punch into a sledgehammer. As a troubled youth in Hong Kong, Bruce Lee carried brass knuckles. In other cultures around the world, there are similar weapons called knuckle dusters, tiger claws, and punch rings. Today you'll see brass knuckles in music videos, TV shows, video games, and movies. Spike Lee wore brass knuckles to the 2019 Academy Awards as a throwback reference to his movie, Do the Right Thing. My introduction to brass knuckles as a kid was watching professional wrestling on TV. This was not the polished, high-dollar spectacle of the international WWE brand today. The storylines and bag of tricks were more limited in this local, regional style of wrestling. Actor Dwayne The Rock Johnson's father, Rocky, was actually the 1976 National Wrestling Association's Brass Knuckle Champion. This was a time in my youth when I didn't know for sure if professional wrestling was real or not. What I did know was that wrestling had a cast of characters with colorful names like Abdullah the Butcher, Dusty the American Dream Rhodes, who was a great influence on Hulk Hogan, and of course Andre the Giant, who is perhaps more remembered these days as the giant in the William Goldman Rob Reiner classic film, The Princess Bride. One staple of wrestling back then was the aluminum chair to the back, another was the leap off the ropes, but the most visceral was the brass knuckle stunt. When one wrestler was near defeat, magically brass knuckles would appear. How they would come out of those tight trunks, I have no idea. The great announcer Gordon Soley, then known as the Walter Cronkite of professional wrestling, would look at the almost defeated wrestler and say something like, What's he have in his hands? Oh no, it looks like a foreign object. It's brass knuckles. And all of a sudden, the brass knuckles would reverse the power dynamics in the ring, and inevitably, it would lead to a fake bloody mess. For a little kid watching this on a small TV in Central Florida, it was flat out entertaining. What I'm trying to do here is not lay the groundwork for a bloody mess, but to help you in your creative fight to help you create something that is flat out entertaining. And if you're fortunate, to create something that emotionally connects with a larger audience. I've condensed and curated thoughts, ideas from several hundreds of top screenwriters, playwrights, filmmakers, and creative people in hopes that they help you and your creative fight. Now, go fight the good fight. <laughs> Roll with the punches. Tomorrow's another day.